Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 222. 222. What you're seeing here is my Amazon store related to radios. And I've been trying to record this particular show for about a week now, and I've had some technical difficulties, shall we say. And it is not difficulties with what I'm going to show you today. It was difficulties with having that running and its software and having my screen capture software running at the same time. They just weren't compatible. I'm using a freeware piece of software for screen capture, so it's not the best in the world. So anyway, I'm using my video camera. And uh, of course, it's lower resolution, but it will let you actually see my meter and my computer at the same time. So I'm down in my uh, workshop. It's finally warmed up. Uh, it's 75 degrees here in the workshop. It's going to be 80 outside today, so it's pretty, pretty nice. And what I want to show you, let me go around here to... This is what I'm going to show you that I got about a week ago, is this meter. Now let me change the camera so that I can zoom in. Uh, let's see, the zoom button is here. Oh, wrong way. So now we got to move the camera. Zoom in a little more. Oops, wrong way again. Okay, so what this is, is this is a multimeter. And what's unique about this multimeter is that it has an RS-232 interface for a PC so that you can use some software to look at the data and record the data for plotting and looking at later. For instance, you know, when I did my battery testing, I had to use a camera to record the output of the battery as it declined when it was being loaded to get an idea of what the battery life is. Well, with this meter, I could have hooked it up to the batteries and recorded into the computer the voltage over time. And this is going to run for, you know, eight hours, sampling at a low rate, say, oh, once every five minutes or something like that. So now I've got the meter thanks to a credit on Amazon from one of my subscribers. I was able to purchase this meter for review and for myself. So let's look at the software. Oh, let me uh, zoom over to the meter real quick so you can physically see mine. So let's zoom out. We'll go find the meter. There it is right there. So there's the meter. It comes with a temperature probe, which I got hooked up right now because that will give me a dynamic output so that I can see what the software is doing. So I've got that hooked up. So let's go back to um, my screen. Oop, right up there. And then I will open up the software down here. This is the software that comes with it. And I've seen somewhere on the internet there's some software that some people have written for it too that maybe is a little better I haven't tried it so this is the basic interface that you will see and what well, you don't see it because I don't have it camera set up right okay so I'm gonna zoom in on that right there for a second then I have to zoom back out and you'll see why So that's a basic interface, and it gives you a digital output and an analog output. Right now, it's not sampling, so that's why it's got that 888 there. But if I hit begin, it starts sampling, and so it's showing you the digital value and the analog value. I wish they didn't have this big symbol in here, but anyway, they do. Um, and if I touch the probe, you can see it change. There it goes. And I'll let go of it again. Now, so that's just, you know, like giving you on your computer uh, what you could see on your uh, meter. 
Although one thing that's interesting is the display on the meter for temperature is only in centigrades. And you can make it either centigrades or Fahrenheit on the computer display. Just a little trivial point. Okay, now here comes the beauty of it. You can have it list the samples and graph the samples real time. So you have to hit, now let me go see if I need to adjust, yeah, I need to adjust my zoom so you can see those other two pieces. Zoom back in there. I may not get the, trying to stay as close as possible, but get, get those other two pieces up. And the other two pieces are, this is a list of the data that it's going to log. It hasn't started. And this is actually, it's graphs the data. And you can set up the parameters. You can set up the X and Y scale. And I'll show you how to do this, I think, is I'm going to click on recording. So it'll start the recording. And I'm going to say continue. And it's starting to record. And it's using the default values which are, it's recording until you stop it manually, and it's recording the data as fast as it can sample it, which is about two or three times a second. Now, I'm going to stop that. And now, these are highlighted in yellow, <clears throat> so I can change the time. So we're going to sample for 30 seconds, and we're going to, our sample interval is one second. So we should get 30 samples. And it's ready to go now. I'll do a begin. It'll clear out the da old data and it'll clear the graph and start capturing new data. Here we go. Okay, it's now capturing new data. And I'm going to go around and grab the probe again so it's changing. Okay, you can see, I don't know if you can or not, but you can see on the graph it's starting to spike up because I'm heating it up. And you can change, like I say, you can change the scale. And it's going to take 30 samples and then stop automatically. There it did. Okay, there's your 30 samples and it stopped. And now, if you want to, you can come over here to File, and I don't know if this is showing up on the camera or not, and save that data. And then you can load it into a program like Excel and plot it any way you want to, make it neater, neater and put scales on it and stuff like that. Or you can print, and I don't know what it looks like yet because I haven't tried this, you can print this table here or the graph. I haven't tried that yet, so I don't know what that looks like. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. And you can set up options. First, you can, first you'll have to set up your COM port. This particular computer, the COM port I'm using is COM port 1. I think it defaults to COM port 2, so it didn't initially work. So I had to change that. Then you can change the configuration so that you, sh you can sh select the ranges on the various scales for the plot. So for instance, um, on the temperature plot, I set the range with a maximum of 120 to 29 degrees and a low of 30 degrees. And you can change this uh, on the fly too. Oh, well, actually, you can change it before and after the data is captured. So that's my new meter. Um, really excited about it. And like I say, it's on sale right now. It's normally $39. It's on sale right now for $29. And you can purchase it through my Amazon store, or you can go directly to Amazon. So here's the meter right down here. Like I say, it comes with this temperature probe, and it comes with a normal test lead for measuring current, resistance, voltage, whatever. So that's the show for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.